I made a procedural rock generator in Godot. The documentation says to use an array mesh API for generating static geometry. So I started out by generating a triangle. Then because I know I'm going to mess up my vertex positions at some point, I made some debugging tools to let me see of a wireframe and also put a label on each vertex. Since my rocks are going to need more than three vertices, I wrote this function to subdivide a mesh, making sure to reuse vertices whenever I split an edge. Now to make something resembling a rock, we're going to generate a sphere by first making an icosahedron and then subdividing it while setting each vertex to a fixed distance from the center. Next, I went outside, I took a picture of a rock, and I turned it into a seamless texture using GIMP. Now to put the texture on the sphere, we need to generate some UV coordinates. Thanks to Wikipedia, this is pretty simple. Except now we've got this massive seam across our sphere, and the poles are all messed up. So to fix that, we need to take all of the confused vertices and map them to one side of the texture or the other. But fixing the poles requires another trick, because as the triangles get further away from center, they get more stretched. So instead of fighting the laws of topology, we can enable detail in the material editor, generate a sideways UV map for our mesh's UV2, tell the detail to use UV2, and generate a gradient mask to only apply to the top and bottom. Then we can set the albedo to the texture. Now I want to stretch the sphere into a lumpy rock, so I wrote this function to scale the vertices in the X, Y, and Z and offset them randomly along their normal vectors using noise. Then I whipped up a UI to slide these parameters around, and here is my rock generator. And that's how